Hi, welcome back to another session of Cooking It Up with Betty. Today, I'm going to be making one of everyone's favorites, burgers. But not just any burger, these are special bake Betty Bacon Burgers. And with a few special ingredients, you can turn ho-hum into yum-yum. The special ingredients I'm going to be adding today are minced onion, ground pepper, ground cumin, garlic powder, and some salt. And then we're going to be wrapping it with a slice of bacon. Now when you shape your patties, you want to make sure your patties are about three-fourths of an inch thick so that you can get a nice, even doneness. Wrap the bacon around and secure with toothpicks, and then you're going to grill. You know, I was inspired for this recipe when I visited Henderson, Minnesota. I stopped at Tootie's Sweet Treats because they have the best malts there. And you know, nothing goes better with a burger than a malt. After I had my malt, I headed to the Henderson Community Building. It's right there on Main Street in downtown Henderson. This building, built in 1879, was the Sibley County Courthouse until 1915. The building was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. It also houses the J.R. Brown River Center, a museum which contains many historical items of interest about Joseph Renshaw Brown. Now, J.R. Brown was born in 1805 and came to Minnesota in 1820 at the young age of 15 as a drummer boy. Colonel Leavenworth headed up this military regiment and his duty was to build Fort St. Anthony, which is now called Fort Snelling. Now, Brown didn't stay a drummer boy long, but left the service and became a pioneer fur trader, businessman, and journalist. He was an entrepreneur and an interpreter for the Sioux Indian Treaty, signed in 1851. Served as the Indian agent from 1857 to 1861. Now, Brown served in both legislative houses and played a major role in legislation that created the Minnesota Territory. He was the founder of two Minnesota towns, both Henderson and Dakota, now called Stillwater. Brown County and the small town of Browns Valley, Minnesota, were also named after him. Well, by the time I finished with looking at all these great things in the J.R. Brown River Center, I was ready for a little something to eat and rest a bit. So I stopped at the Hog Wild Saloon and Eatery. You know, in fact, it was that burger that inspired me for today's recipe. Wink, wink. 